Hi there, it's Mark from Snooker Crazy. Uh, a while back someone showed me a great tip for cleaning your cue butt and bringing the shine actually back out. So I thought I'd pass it on to you guys. And it's just a standard car wax cleaner. Um, that's the make. I won't try and pronounce it. Meguaz I think it's called. Uh, in the tin you get see your wax, which I've used a fair bit of that, and a sponge. Now, really easy to do. Take the sponge out. Get a little bit off, don't go mad. You can actually do it with your finger, but if you've got any allergies, obviously read the tin first. Let's take this cue out. And what I tend to do, I generally do it with my finger, if I'm be honest, and really push it into the pores, but just it's quite a good sponge on there. Just push it so you get right into the grain all the way around. Be careful as you're swinging your cure around. <coughs> Again, put it into there, pushing it right in. You won't need to. Uh, you won't need to use a lot of the wax, that's for sure, and it really doesn't take long to do it. And I tend, if I'm honest, to do it about a centimetre above the, uh, the fingers on the splices. I don't want to get it on the shaft, don't do your shaft with it. I've, I've heard of people doing it and they love it, but it's not something I'd recommend. Just put it in there, that's it, just a little bit above, just so you get the, the points of the fingers. And then going down, just checking. You there. So don't leave too much on there. But, yeah, that's about right, I think. Now what I tend to do then, leave it somewhere where it won't get knocked over. You don't want any dings in your queue. And leave it for around about, I'd say about an hour, as long as you can really, about an hour, hour and a quarter. And then what happens is it actually goes to a, a fine white dust on there. I did a couple earlier, and you should be able to see, difficult to see in the picture, but you should be able to see just about the white dust on there. There you go. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to take that off. Make sure we haven't got any grit or anything on a duster. And just basically just push into it. But push it away from the shaft. So you're pushing it more up towards the butt end. And it should come off relatively easy. Make sure you get your fingers into all the nooks and crannies. Otherwise it'll leave a, a little bit of white around there. So that's just removed it. So use that duster for that. Same again with the other one. Again, make sure it's off the shaft, push it away. Just make sure you're into it. We get all the, all the white bits out. Right, and then what I do, is personally I get a, a good duster and I'll give that a good, good go and I've squeezed really tightly and I'll probably get out of breath here because it's not exactly uh, too cold. And I tend to squeeze hard enough that I get a fair bit of heat on the butt and make sure you give it a, a really good dig in there with your fingers so I can feel it burning up now and me <laughs> Go now. I haven't been doing this too long so I would hope you'd see a fair bit in there see a good shine already coming through. 
what I like is it hasn't taken us too long and that's really slippery. So, no finger marks. So just, just get that excessive wax off and really buff it. Yeah, I like that. That's good. That's a nice shine. Again. Give that one a go and over and you can tell it's not taking too long. I'd probably do this personally for about 10 minutes so I'm really confident every bit's off. But we'll just do it for 30 seconds. See what sort of result we get. 30 seconds is enough for me to be out of breath and stop talking I would think. Alright. There you go. You just get a, a reasonable shine off of that. Yeah, that's lovely. What a beautiful bit of wood. What a shame I'm not a better player. <laughs> right, so hopefully that's helped. Good stuff. See you on the next video.